morning y'all how you guys doing as you can see when we have the cars with my babies it's cold outside it's not as cold as up north but it's still cold where we at so dmv has been getting a lot of heat blasts or cold class i mean so best i can do is keep it warm nice and comfy welcome back to the channel model 64 Hope you guys are safe, healthy, care for, love, bless, and love some more. I'm your host, Day Humble. Today is day, I believe, 20. Oh, it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> My calendar is not there. Day 26. Another day to be grateful, another day to be blessed. Make sure I turn this heater on a little bit. It's warm, not warm in here. So, yeah. See, the sun is slowly coming out. Man, some of the greatest time to to look around is in the morning time, because as the sun breaks the horizon, something about it is just give you a different perspective. It gives you a way different perspective, so. And look at this. Yeah, ain't this a cool little scenario? <laughs> yeah. As always, let's get this show on the road. Some cool looking tundras in here though. Them tundras, man. Looking, looking, looking good. Damn, look at that one. Hey. It's a lot of light. Oh, wow. yeah. Remember, guys, it's always good to drink. Mm, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to drink. And it's free because it's your dream. <laughs> so, yeah. This is pretty cool, though. Looks pretty solid. Looks beautiful and nice. Some nice stuff out there. Pretty nice. Goodbye to the last. Yeah. I got pork for tonight, so all right, I'm waiting in line, check out. So I got some stuff for the house. Got some we're eating pork tonight, so after uh probably pork and rice, so it's getting a little busy over here. Well, that's what it is. So. All right, we just finished uh, getting the stuff for the house and what we eat tonight. I'm gonna make pork and rice. I'm still trying to think. Is should I put it in a pot, slow pot it? Uh, what do you call that? Pot lock? <laughs> I can't even think of it. So, but yeah, that's what we're gonna plan to do. Either that or just make it, you know, just grill it. Make a little sauce on the side and make it a little bit uh, tasty. So, hope you guys' days are going good. Um, hope everything is working out for anybody and everybody that's in the group. In the humble group. The humble clan. The humble tribe. Hope you guys are safe, love, and love some more. So, yeah. But, yeah, we're on our way home right now. Got some stuff from the grocery and then uh
been home for a while. Probably like um, an hour now. I haven't put anything away yet. Ooh, it's one of those moments, man. Just need to take a little time to breathe. <laughs> you know, when you're so caught up in a lot of stuff, your mind is just rushing, rushing, go, go, go. So, took the time just to sit down and just chill and calm things down, organize my thoughts. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. So, because I'm, uh, all because I can't figure out what to cook and how to cook it. Well, I know what to cook. I just, see, I already told you. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it. So, it looks like it fits. Like, the cock pot is either small. I just want to make sure I'll be cooking now before, you know, the fam gets home, my babies. And then go from there, too, so. Yeah. And not only that, I came across something on uh, TikTok. It's it's sad and heartbroken. Uh, if any of you guys know the Angie boys, um, the dad passed away. Um, it's kind of sad, you know. Um, rest in peace. Condolences, you know, condolences to the family. And he, um, and it's because of, uh, colon, colon cancer, man. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Just whatever you got in mind that you plan on doing, do it now. So life is just precious it's in so many ways. We take that for granted. We always think that walking outside his door will guarantee us another day. It's not. Or just going to sleep will guarantee us. Every time, every minute. It's precious because you don't know. I still have my problems. I have my own things I need to fix. That I need to work on. So I'm one day at a time, taking a step to try to do the best I can and to enjoy every single moment of it and cherish it to the fullest. I know, sorry if I'm bringing the mood down, but like I said in my previous videos, this is my life, my journey, and my story. The good with the bad. And on top of that, I am a YouTuber vlogger. I vlog, I tell my story. This is who I am. This is who I am. And in a way, this is therapy. I don't know who's watching, but this is me just expressing myself. So I don't have to grumble it up in a piece of paper and put it behind my back and carry it with me. No. I can at least lay it here and open it to everybody else. And you, whoever's watching, my subscribers, my old guard, a visitor, you can take this and see it for what it's used to you. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, all right, let me figure this out and then go about. It's almost time to pick up my babies again. Man, see how time flies. Yeah, that situation, I guess, kind of pulled a string on me. <laughs> pulled a string on me. Rest in peace to uh, the Yankee boys. All right, until next. Sure. All right, <clears throat> eating lunch, kind of late. I ended up running late. <laughs> but um, eating noodles. And chicken, popcorn chicken and that. So, don't hate it. Try it. It's actually good. Not bad at all. So, I'm gonna hurry up and then I'm gonna head out and pick up my babies. Today, if you were to Google map of human migration, then this is what you're likely to find. 
It's a journey that begins in Africa 65,000 years ago, and it covers the entire landmass of the world, except for here. Tamwana Nui Akiwa, it's the largest body of open water on the planet, the Pacific Ocean. It's so large that you could put every continent into it with room to spare. It's even bigger than Mars. And yet this incredible story of human migration across this enormous expanse of water has remained largely untold. New research is telling us that more than three and a half thousand years ago, about the same time that the Egyptians were building the pyramids, our Polynesian ancestors set out across the Pacific Ocean from Southeast Asia. It took five centuries to make it as far as Tonga and Samoa. Then they took a big breather. The islands of the Pacific became smaller and further apart. They needed new knowledge and new technology to cross those bigger gaps. Our Polynesian Tupuna had to invent blue water sailing and navigation. It took another 2,000 years to get from Samoa to Tahiti, but once they were there, these fearless sailors soon found the most isolated islands in the Pacific. They reached Hawaii about 1,000 years ago, Rapa Nui, Easter Island, 800 years ago, they even got as far as the coast of South America. And how do we know that? The Kumara. It's native to South America, and it's the only place it could have come from. Our Tupuna brought it back to Polynesia, and about 750 years ago, down to Aotearoa. So the story of human migration, which began 65,000 years ago out of Africa, ended here, on the shores of Aotearoa. And the next step in that journey, well, it looks like it's back to the stars that brought us here in the first place. I'm my way to pick up my babies. Man, look at the weather. The weather changed up on us real quick. Dark though. Alright, alright, alright. Let me get back to my jams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the weather looks like today. <laughs> Sunny and then now it's dark and cloudy. This is for dinner on our anniversary. Yep, that's for dinner. Looks good. Came out good. <laughs>